chance to be rude Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Omaha, already on part three. Although, to be fair, might not be on part three. If it wasn't for last night, it'd probably be part two. I'm going to continue. We got to change our cloak, by the way. Wait a second.
We'll be changing our appearance eventually. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Well, it's making us do this part over again. Fair enough. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin <coughs> is a daily prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Oh, we could skip it. Um, we'll let it play out, though. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> uh, uh, what time, Lane? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Revelio. You can go ahead back, I'm not worried. Something is in here. Oh, I wonder if I got it already. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Revelio. I wonder if those chests make that chime too. Mm. Awesome. 
with the locks even. Lumos. Hogsmeade, here I come. Mm, you're straight too far. That's unfortunate. We'll, we'll call back for it. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Come and see me, I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Well, well, thank you very much. Revelio. Rebellion. Oh, I guess it's daytime now. Rebellion. Somewhere here.
There it is. Sir Cardigan was allegedly friends with Merlin himself, and as such became a sworn knight of the Round Table. Although he is only really known to the wizarding world, he is famous for his defeat of the Wyvern of Wee, and now spends his day challenging students to duels. Rebellion. And now the sound is gone. Alright, test complete on that. Yep, it is gone. Lumos. Painting. Look at the picture once again. Look at the floor too. I doubt it's this far. Might some kind soul help me? Oh, we have a side quest. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Hello, Durka. How are you doing, buddy? Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Hmm. 
I guess this is what we're doing now. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. side quests all over the place right now. I need a spell in order to finish this. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Right, well, why don't you tell me how to get it? We'll worry about the side quest in a minute. Let's just move on. I'm sure, there's something that we don't have. It's so easily sidetracked in this game, it's incredible. like spot where that which my clock could be there it is come on So we find where I put the mirror. Side quests. 
There's a lot to do on this second day. What are you up to now? Don't worry about it. None of your business. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to? They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons of the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No. I dare say, after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it? Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But <coughs> if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Heckett a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Heckett know to expect you. Nice to see you, my young friend. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the dark arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hulk Hecat after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. I believe Interesting. we have some matters to discuss. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. 
Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. I really gotta start using fast travel. Ready for another round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Ah, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Break through pilot shields with four spells, like the summoning chart, Kyo. Target lets you track enemies without aim. on you that round. Catch go again. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. Okay. Just getting busted on this. Care to go again? Yep. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. Let's <laughs> go. 
to go again? This is like your tenth try. Glad to hear it. Give it another go. Glad to hear it. Akio. Give it another go. Glad to hear it. I'm letting everybody down. What is going on? Why did it do that? I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak.
Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. You can't imagine how inconvenient... Clearly didn't teleport in the right spot. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate- I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Spells that you'll need to equip as if you to do this. So. Good work. Right. You must first add to your spell set. Getting it, keep at it, and do try not to incinerate yourself.
Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. <coughs> I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. All right, let's mess around with some of these side quests. more question marks so we could keep going with the main story actually so we'll do a main story that's fine I've always said that travel broadly what's a smell I smell something Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative? Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? 
That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Nearby adversaries will sense and then investigate suspicious behavior. Being caught by authority figures will result in quest failure. Alright, so we're playing Metal Gear right now. still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Damn. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be alright. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. The key. There's someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Goodness gracious. We must remain unseen. Oh, that one's charmed to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. 
Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. Use basic cast while undetected to lure a 30 figures enemies to a desired location. Aim mode grants precision spell target and reveals additional spell targets. Oh. Ghost, don't let her see you. Should be in the clip. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Rebellion. everyone else is given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure? If, if possible, do not as much to their tendency to fly from one's hand as to their content being spectacular dribble. Of no educational value whatsoever. Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help her? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. That's how we open us. I'll be quieter than a jobber knob. Shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Right? Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Oh, I'm not a fan. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> um, we go. Repair it.
Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to it. That's it. <sighs> Revelio. Where might this lead? Are you getting this game, Sparrow? Because this is a pretty fun game. It's long as hell, though. Like, I could just tell that it's super long by the way things are unlocking. Revelio. Repair room. Revelio. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Incendio. <laughs> Levioso. Repair. Accio. I wonder if I can hit the rune with a spell. spell I could use. Maybe one of these. Lumos. Incendio. Oh wow, just fire at it. It is not. Gosh. All right, just keep firing away. Oh my gosh, I thought we were dead. Okay. Before we have to do this. did to make it stop uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I answered your question but no it is not in the catalog not surprising gods at the way Gift of 
ancient magic humans by successfully hitting or taking damage. Successful 10 plus hit combos will begin generating ancient magic power-ups. Collecting these will greatly fill your ancient magic meter and recover a small amount of health. Cool. When at least one segment of your ancient magic meter is full, you can cast devastating ancient magic attacks that deal massive damage and break shield charms. Tap L1, R1 when you see the prompt over enemy's head. Nice. At least the health regenerates, or else we'd be screwed. that give us ancient magic cool Revelio. That random to me. We made it. This must be the way forward, but to where? Oh my gosh, it's another one. I just wish I had a rhyme or reason to it instead of just whack it a bunch of times. I think I figured it out. Me. I'm just a scrub. We have a hat. Uh, we should probably equip some of these things. Oh, look at that defense. There we go. That's the appearance our mother would love. Yeah. Let's go with this hat. We like this hat.
A legendary cape is rewarded for this. some healing potions that's what we need it is a book after all revelio Right? You wanted to see me? Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival... Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I 
don't understand, what are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morgana. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> He is trustworthy. So are we able to access this? We are. So we just go here whenever we want now. See if we missed anything. Glad he stopped saying the spell name when we cast this. Of course, we need a level one lock. Revelio. Oh. To our left somewhere. Yeah, he was saying it the entire time yesterday and today, I thought. But now he stopped saying it, thankfully. Revelio. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have said anything. down there. Okay. Revelio. Interesting, interesting. That's what's getting rung up. Akio. Revelio. Where'd that book go?
Did it trick me? It went away again. That's like a little glitchy. I'm not sure if I can get that one. Me, maybe? Or is it below me? That's her side quest. So I can't seem to figure out. Spare a moment. I could use your help. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello. I'm Duncan Hophouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons.
That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. It's a little closer. My brother calls the lock of thunder. It's making me go away from it. It's pretty dope. Rebellion. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Incendio! This must be the entrance to the Hidden Herbology Corridor.
Reparo. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Well. Oops, wrong one. There's this one. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Gear slots are full. Jesus. That's unfortunate. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Hopefully we can find something that's lit up around here. Revelio. What are you up to now? Perfect. lead to Hogsmeade.
Let's make sure we're wearing the best stuff before we... Oh, 13. We're not 13 yet. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Wish I knew how to make the potions. That would be great. Rebellion. This broken rune belonged to Selene Wartnabi and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. This is not where I came from. Press the wrong button. No. Of 
on another adventure, are we? Yeah, you need to chill out too. Let's see. Yep. Lumos. We can find this chest that we missed. Lumos. Get close. Nice if they added some type of statistics. Revelio Lumos. I believe the other one I wasn't able to get either. Rebellion. Should we hit the center of Hogwarts greenhouses? This giant tree has a system of roots as deep reaching and convoluted as the school's dungeons. to like explore this area. Revelio. I wish these were just a bit easier to find. Radish like fruit floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Revelio. All right, cool.
finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Incendio! Accio! Levioso! Lumos! I don't know how to get it. Have you found anything to, uh... Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. We gotta check out the rub now. Guess it might just be Huh. Look too bad. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything.
nice to see you, my young friend. This is a bathroom. Rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Let's see if I could see more of that. Show me what I'm supposed to do. Try it. That wasn't cool. Or maybe it's an inventory. No. There it is. All right, so we found the rhinoceros. Picture. in there. I kind of feel bad. It looks insanely violated. Oh, they have a purple thing. Violated. I'd better keep an eye on... There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? New picture. The stairwell looks promising. Lumos. This looks like the portrait from the map. Now where's the treasure? Of course, Dull Sons is dying. Let me know. Incendio. Accio. Let me know. There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I 
wonder what came of Arthur's search. Another cloak. Wait, it's pretty cool. Hello, Varial. How are you doing, buddy? I have to go and see what that picture is again. Professor Howen's going to quiz us on rare water beasts next week. Oh, Can't wait to tell our Does it look like we are there? Honestly, the game is so dang big, I don't know. I don't know if you missed much. This particular urn is rumored to have once borne the inscription Pioneer in Dragon Taming. Should not have started with the Hungarian Horn Tail. Uh, I think, uh, I think I'm doing a good job of picking up on your personality. I, I, I understand where you come from. Revelio. The Hogwarts motto, Draco Dormian's Nunquam Tatiliandis, <laughs> means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Fortunately, this particular sleeping dragon is made of stone and will never awaken. It may be tickled to absolutely no effect. I, I get that, but I feel like you have a small a small fear of confrontation in a way. And not in like a, a I'm afraid it's going to happen, but more or less I'm afraid what I'm going to say. Like, um, that's part of like, I don't think you should ever be afraid of saying what's on your mind I'm not necessarily saying you're afraid like because you're scared I just think you're afraid of like how people take you I think you need to I think you're perfectly fine you should just open up to us we're, we're good we like you this is not the way from that butterfly by the way like this were used by goblins during the 1612 goblin rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards this horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the hog's head in with a wedge of gargonzola stuffed inside presumably to mute it i love the names in this game by the way so too many people walked out on my life because of it well If it's over something you said, they were never a friend to begin with. If that makes sense. Lumos. I just want to find this area. Where could you be? Fireworks going on. Watch it be behind that door, and I'm just wasting my time.
Alright. We're, we're just gonna move on from this little fucking... You see, like, th that's, that's where I don't, like, that's where I don't necessarily think it wasn't him seeing where you were coming from. I, I think it was just more or less he's Rebellion. just kind of excited at the fact that something's coming that's different. There's a butterfly over there. And we can't get to it, Varial. No! I knew it was behind a locked door. But I just think it was more or less like... Like you were trying to explain something and he was trying to explain something. And you guys just weren't like understanding the differences between what y'all were saying. It was just miscommunication, honestly. I, de I definitely think that he understands like what you want. And... Uh, you know, it's just, we've been playing this game for so long. I mean, for me, since since uh, since May of last year, you know, we're, we're almost a whole year in. And uh, I, I the whole time I've been playing this game, all I've wanted was a BOP update that I could play and drive different cars. Like, uh, that's all I've wanted the entire time I've played this game. Made any progress with your treasure map? Hello, Arthur. I thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Agreed. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. <laughs> Why do I play these games, Varial? Why? You see, I, I, and, and here's the thing, I'll go one step further, because I get that we're never going to be able to drive every car in the game or whatever, right? I understand that, but I would like it if we could, we could drive more of them, you know, at the very least, like, let us drive more of them. Why? Why won't it let me target? Some of these things. We'll travel to it. Yeah, I, I think it's crazy. We've got three fast people in this game, right? Not not any one of us three are slow by no means. Aren't they brilliant? And we all are just like, I don't know if we want to play. It's crazy. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. 
Ah, oh, I've tried. And I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you... I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, it's not like you can let me grab them. Let me open. Lumos, incendio. Push the pass, yeah, that's so annoying. I would like to enjoy racing. I, I do think, I don't see me going another week after this week not playing the game. I definitely don't see me saying, nope, I'm not going to play. I, I put too much work into it to take this much time off. But, that being said, I, I do hope that there is something different, at least. Something to look forward to. Like maybe news on the update. That that'll help a little bit. Levioso. I think we all feel that way. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas, the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts had he succeeded. Oh, nice. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. It should be. Akia, that's a Dalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. Uh, all right. It like ran away so fast. There it is. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Oh, sorry about that. You just smack it. Do that again. Go ahead. You won't. I don't know if I'm going to get this. This is hard. It's got a pattern, I think. So we can study the pattern a little bit. So up, down, it's going to go across now. Ooh, 
I went too early. Ooh, and it still does it. So it's gonna go down. When it goes up, it's gonna fly across. Okay, and that one I wasn't ready for. Got it. Nice, we got it. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. <clears throat> oh man, I would like to see some type of bands. I just want to see some bands. I know I brought this up before, but I feel like Smite's system of banning players would be perfect for GT. makes no sense that I could do all these side quests but I can't get I can't figure out the the gobble stone thing I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulp stones hello Nelly I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock brilliant what Anything. did you find in the cabinet a curious token of some sort looks like some sort of house token I bet it unlocks house chests I call them house chests I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Slytherin house chest. We are going to find the Slytherin house chest. could just fast travel there, but I'm having so much fun running through the castle, I just don't want to do it. I mean, I, I think you have to purchase it. I think that's how it's gonna, it has to go. This must be my house, Jim. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Oh. Quite a few by the look of it. Yeah, like 20 of them. One of 16. Oh my gosh. We're nowhere near completing that one. What are you up to now? Leave me alone. I do what I want. Don't talk back to me. I just wanted to walk in these steps again. They're so cool. Kind of takes me back to that movie. Uh, Hogwarts. Or not the Hogwarts. Uh, the, uh, what is it called? The Chambers of Secrets, I think it was, the first movie. Oh, there's a door here. Alright, so let's look at it. Four, two, six, so the question mark is zero. All right, and then five, one, six, and then that one would be five. Two, three, four, five, it's a little beetle. Where are you at? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. He's just like, hi! <laughs> Travel broadens the Alright, let's see if this will reveal it's down there. Be 
been having strange dreams of late. Where are you at, Strange Beetle? Yep. Alright, let's back up we go. When what was lost has been found, the brother's betrayal will turn. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's. I don't think I could get into the other houses. It would have to all be Slytherin. A ceramic mask? What kind of crap is this? House standing banners. Alright. We hear the key, right? We hear it. Screwing around somewhere. Revelio. I hear him. He's just going, hi! Large ornate hourglasses containing rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds are enchanted to keep count of house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin, respectively. Alright, well, where's our house points at? What? I shouldn't even be close. Where are you at, Key? Off on another adventure, are we? Nobody asked you. You, you quiet. I can sense someone close to me. It'd be nice if I could just go up to it and that's it. But no, we have to find it. He's messing with us. At the top, maybe? Wow, we're only four away. Come here, Key. Akio. Yep. I'm not sure if me and the key get along. Same pattern, maybe? Dang it. That's it. Let's go. What I want to know is why aren't they on my map right now for me to go find? not really telling me there's 24 field pages in this area <laughs> oh my gosh
I don't know if we sit here all day and looking for this. Incendio. You can't imagine how easy. Oh, look where we made it. Rebellion. The ceiling of the great hall has been bewitched to move the sky above the castle. That's so cool. Thank you. Thank you. It's enchanted electron service the spot from which the great headmistress and headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as Professor Black, address the school. Rebellion. And of course. We still can't get through you. Revelio. We found one. Where are you at, Key? One more, and we got Revelio twenty four here. another it's another puzzle what do we got here all right seven nine sixteen eight so spider for one all right so eleven zero three which would be the hydra for two Open sesame. Nightcap. Rebellion. Ah, the key. Akio. We just have to go to it. Burial, I hope it does take me far. I hope it takes us all far. Oops. Sorry, little key. Ah. Yeah, hi. Oops. I just don't understand why we can't use a magic spell. Alright, three. Thing that's frustrating me about this is why I should stop and go do the main quest is that I know I won't be able to get everything here. Lumos. Alright, that looks like the uh, whatchamacallit. <laughs> right? Revelio. There you are, butterfly. Lumos. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. And 
this is gonna give us another challenge completed. Alright, let's go redeem our 11%. 46% on... Sure. Alright. Oh, we may have to look like the prankster. We're not gonna be there yet. 50 now for the regala robe. Jesus. Would this count as the 100%? Like, I'm just... I'm asking for a friend. If we have 100% the field guides pages, does that count? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna teleport to where the quest is, and we're just gonna move on. Travel. Just give me two seconds. I'll be back. So you know, Varial, the kitten is sleeping. The kitten is sleeping. In the same spot. Every time I stream, he's in the same spot. Galleons and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps. It didn't bother me. I swear. Good. I'm sure they likely hadn't heard the house called, that's all. Or they did. 
Now, why would you say that? Just to be cruel. Not at all. But admit, it is rather unusual for no one to clap when the house is called at the sorting ceremony. No one. I wouldn't have even noticed had someone not mentioned. But then even when you walked to the table to sit with them, not a one of them clapped. Would you stop revisiting every sliver of this incident? I mean, sorting. No, she's right. No one did clap. But I know why. What? But why then? Why did no one clap when you were sorted? It's because, just before the sorting ceremony... Yes? I'd done a foolish thing. It's my own fault. What? What did you do? I'd spent time trying to mingle with as many other people as possible, and... I moaned about each of the houses. What? But why would you do that? So that no one thought I wanted to be in the house. In case I didn't get picked for it. It was stupid, I know. Pride. Stupid pride. But I forgot that obviously I'd be sorted into one of the houses. And so everyone was offended. No one wanted me in their house. Rightfully so. What a moon mind. We all do stupid things at one time or another. I bet you feel better after getting it off your chest. I think I do. Feel a bit better. Not for long. You can forget it if you think I'm going to let you live this down. I can't believe Black is still the headmaster. He obviously hates the job. And it's not like he's short a few galleons. I've no doubt that Black will be remembered as the worst headmaster Hogwarts has ever seen. No ability to have a rapport with his pupils whatsoever. How much longer do you think Black will be headmaster? I have family in America. I wonder if I could transfer to Ilvermorny and come back when he's gone. I wish the headmaster would retire. Let Professor Weasley take over for him. Why would Black want to be headmaster of Hogwarts? Of course, I'm not sure what job he'd actually be good at. Perhaps something at Azkaban. Black noticed a scuff on his shoe the other day. I would not take another step until a house elf polished it away for him. Horrid man. Professor Black was terrible before he decided to cancel Quidditch. That decision was the icing on the cauldron cake, if you ask me. Good thing Professor Weasley takes her role seriously, since Black clearly has no interest in his. It's impossible to do all of the homework they give you. I think they do it on purpose. Nothing to be learned at Hogwarts that one cannot learn out in the world. Of course, there's something to be said for eating the house elves quince pie whilst learning. Well, I've yet to understand how one is expected to do the homework for things class, since that would require staying awake for it. I suppose, in all fairness, one should be prepared for anything. A meat car is already studying for hours. No wonder he doesn't have any friends. I can't seem to master the Wigan Willow Potion. Perhaps my stirring techniques bit off. Desperately need to improve my charms marks this year. Perhaps I can find a housemaid to levitate. I say, teach me everything going. In fact, if Hecate doesn't hurry up and teach me the Imperius first, I swear I shall get on that train and go for it. Showing off is a muggle trait. You don't see that sort of behavior in the wizard world. I tried a new reversal hex on that small one. I found it rather boring, although, in all fairness, it only partially worked, which didn't feel that strange. <coughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm returning that book right now. Don't look at me like that. I've seen all the more. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. My family has a lineage of exemplary It's no wonder Slintwitches is desperate for me to buy a broom there. All right, we're gonna change the quest we're following here. Try writing a hippogriff. You cannot be serious. Goblins? 
working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. Her visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. I was only there for an hour. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Check out the legendary. Where's that? Right here. I change the outfit to match that better. It'd be nice.
I wish we had like a straight black wizard's hat. This is where we're going for the time being. Just look at all this stuff, Ariel. Look at all of it. Alright. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you and then proceed to see me in my classroom. I just sent you an outpost request to meet her in Lower Hogsfield. A hamlet. Select the world map. This is the world map. Most of the map is covered by fog, limiting what you can see. The hamlets are small communities throughout the world. This is a hamlet, Lower Hogsfield. Provide new opportunities for vendors, flu flames, side quests, and collectibles. As you explore, you'll remove fog and reveal more of the map, unveiling new opportunities like hamlets, dungeons, bandit camps, and many other locations. Uh, why is this so big? <laughs> All right. So those are main story quests. I really want to learn how to do spells, so this is what we're doing first. Or not spells, um... Herbology, because I want to craft. Oh, we're going down. Why am I not teleporting? It is huge, Varial. And welcome, demon. Are you gonna make me some donuts? Oh, I like her costume. Good morning, got Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. 
Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Hmm. I wonder if he would grow like not grass. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. A little glitchy right there. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. <laughs> have, have you learned nothing from my teachings there, demon? Ooh. Dear Professor Garlic, how very thoughtful of you. And to remember that strawberries are my favorite. They're as sweet as can be. It's no wonder muggles love them so much. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality. From bitterroot to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn his skill whilst under your tutelage. Lenora so adores you, as do all of your students, I'm sure. Warmest regards, always, Eleanor Everley. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy or roses? Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Wait for harvest. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should Using know from Professor Shark's class. Wiganweld potion. Dittany seeds can be present. Be grown in pots of any size. Ready in nine minutes. Oh my gosh. When it increases yields, you can create a fertilizer by conjuring a dung composer. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. 
Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. Uh, no offense. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. You better watch his Don't tone. Worry. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a... Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. So hold down one. Tap R. And assign the Chinese chopping cabbages. Where are you at? There we go. Look at that. Well, chomp them anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're uh, not someone to be trifled with. <laughs> I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. I like that it's giving us a different route to get back to class. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks. <coughs> missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. <laughs> Rebellion. The mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. It only cost me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. Interesting, 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 interesting. Potion class. You gotta go to potion class.
We all heard him. There it is. It's not that one. What? Maybe I wasn't fast enough in running towards it. Maybe there's another one somewhere. There is one over here. And there it is. Hi! Excellent. Almost, someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he did. That one did not fly so fast. Whoops. these things at all. Well, that looks terrible. <laughs> Revelio. the ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This aura badge belongs to Professor Sharp. Rebellion. Alright, let's make some freaking potions already. We are out of potions. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. 
Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. They really make you do a lot. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. So they're making me go and gather stuff. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single thwooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the thwooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Thwooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Remember, thirty first of December, our office, Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks had an increased amount of activity outside of the ordinary shop hours. Particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance Given what we know of the shop's reputation We are adding more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions further instructions to follow Okay, cool cool All oh, right, yeah, let's open your chest too. It is another potion. Yes. Yes, we need those which your wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. 
limited amount of time, visible. And now we add the Mallow Suite, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh! Yeah. Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Well, they caught me. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. So we can just go here and brew. We need hork lump juice. Okay, cool. That was an interesting class. Was Thanks cooking? to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. I'm just happy we have another potion. Oh, don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Speaking of which, I'm sure what we grew is ready to be picked. How nice to see you, my young I'm just gonna keep going too. Oof, sorry to hear that, buddy. She's just sniffing flowers. Dude, it's kind of weird seeing what she's doing. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. 
So, let's go to quests. Let's do that one. Nothing wrong with learning a new spell. back. Dodge, cast and city on five enemies. Well, where can we do that? Let's go here. See if we can find some enemies. Off on another adventure, are we? Alright, see if we can find some people. Kosh and centaurs. So we got a doy, uh, dodge attacks here. Okay, there's two, three, four. Set you on fire. disappeared. I wonder what that was all about. Incendio.
Well, we can go to Hogwarts now. All right. I think they could have done a better job with this map and uh, just make it a little easier. What are you up to now? Take care of everything I... Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting oh, requires a focused mind and a steady wand. I'm happy with what I got, but... I like to think of ways it could be better. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Disarms wands, weapons from most enemies who wield them. Also deals damage to all enemies, even if they do not carry a weapon. Alright, let's try it. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Akio. Let me go. Expel the Interesting. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah. As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Alright, quest. Potatoes. 
Exploit one, mash him, put him in a stew. Hello, Luke. Combo practice. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay, so we need fire. That's it. Accio. Incendio. Excellent four. Combo practice. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Good one. You should see the combos in Marvel. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. I was only a training dummy. True, but it's a difficult dummy. Believe me, I know. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Four of them now. All right, let's go. Break through red with damage spells. Okay. out of you that round. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Oh man, there's a lot of things you just can't see can't in the again? combat. Like those the yes, basic attacks I can't well. see. Good luck out there. 
Things happen so fast. Wrong button. Care to try again? Why do I put games on hard? Yes, I'm ready. Put them now. on well. easy as possible. Good luck out there. I don't want to waste my spells. Or not my spells, my potions. Let's try again. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. It's funny that you said that. As my buddy says, Harry Potter is just Star Wars. <laughs> Terrible lightsabers. Lumos. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Targeting the person I want to. Ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. She's just sitting there in a corner. Pringles and potatoes. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. My character is hella pissed every time he dies, by the way. Dude. Wouldn't be that 
bad if I'm not getting hit by the side. I don't need any spells. We just need to get good. Yes, I'm ready scrubs. now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I hope we're ready now. I need to do press the L1 button. Care to try again? Yes. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Let's see what happens. Let's do that. <laughs> I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Oh man. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there.
I don't think two basic attacks should kill me. I'm just saying. Care to try again? <laughs> yes, I'm ready now. Especially when they're that fast. Good luck out there. Switching targets. Just stay. Is that all you've got? Expelling on. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Expelling on. Wager. Look, what, what is the what is ground gameplay? Target. Select targets with the camera. Four on two. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. So I do have a teammate. See, I I don't understand. I start off the fight with that crap. Venite. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Akio! There goes my way. Confirm! Let me open! Protego! Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Well, I, I need to target who I want to target. I'm not selecting the person in front of me. See, I'm targeting someone over there. It doesn't make sense. Let 
Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. again yes I'm ready now very well good luck out there I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. By the way, that changing target scrap is bullshit. See, it just will not switch. Half the damage I'm doing to myself is I can't change targets. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. See, I don't. What is going on?
Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I've never wanted to punch a little kid in the face so bad in my life. My shield shit. I need a giant sword or an axe or the blades of chaos. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Thank you. 
Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Just need to get good. What a victory! You've won the tournament. It was mostly luck. That's all. Please, you wouldn't have got this far on luck alone. Now, to the victor goes the prize. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. happy it's over with to be honest oh there's something else for combat spider slayer armor Interesting. Oops, wrong button. That's the quest we're gonna do. I'll be right back.
required level for this quest? Four. Oh, why didn't we just teleport? Hold on, I'm getting rewards. We already got those. Map. World map. Back to Hogwarts. I can't wait to be able to fly. Wow, that made us way farther. Oops. Rebellion. Rebellion. Thought I heard something there. Not sure how I'd fare. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. <laughs> And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home.
Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. How nice to see you, my young friend. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've See nothing you, to sell now. Oh, I never Have thought it'd day, come bro. to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. Too, Has man. Van Rock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. He was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again? I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, well, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. But I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My price is low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. 
My ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. I hope to see you again sometime. I know I bought four. Let's go to the goblin camp, I guess. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Rebellion. The Herbidian Black is a large dragon that can grow to over nine meters in length. A large rough scale originally belonging to one of these beasts is one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. Past the ruins, I'm on the right track. Rebellion. to enter. Let me open. Ah! Oh. Yeah. 
Disappointed in disappointment. Let me explain. Not quite. Let me explain. I've been fighting since before you were born. Randrock won't be stopped. That was unimpressed, Billion. That was pitiful. That was quite something. Now, to free Arn's cart. Revelio. Revelio Lumos Accio Expelliarmus Guess fire. Revelio. Incendio. Let me go. Repair, maybe. Stop hitting the wrong button. Repair. Her. Revelio Levioso Accio Levioso Repair I wonder if I can pick any of those up. Assuming the carts are in there, I just can't get to them. I don't know how. Let me 
Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Reparo. Incendio. Accio. Who lives here? They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <sighs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid! I see you! <laughs> the light go out of your eyes. The collection section revealed by has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies such as their weakness or certain spells. I see you! Take up! Take up! Take up! I'm not going anywhere with you. You take it! You get off of my face, buddy! Tell me to find me himself. Just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood, thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? 
These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area, I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. Well, I think anything concerning Merlin is worth pursuing, and I shall have you know. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What shall I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pies. Incendio! Mullins' beard! The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fig. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black.
looks as if there's more than one way to enter. I will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of a couple of scars. Let me look at that was quite something. Now, to free Arn's cart. I guess there's different ones like over there. We need more boss. An enchantment. The carts are returning to on. Akio. Levioso. Akio. Levioso. Akio. Levioso. Akio. There's another one, isn't there? Side. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Accio. Man, I wish I had, I was able to fly right now.
See what's up your sleeve this time, Marlin. Let me go. Incendio. Accio. Someone? Confused. Revelio. Ah. Akio. That's that. Settled. Seems a pleasant enough little place. On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All right, beautiful. All the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. Let's see what that headgear is real quick.
Hmm. We have a helmet. Interesting. That's a pretty big upgrade. In the grand scheme of things. the end of the stream thanks for hanging out uh i might be back on in about eight hours we'll see we'll see if we're on but uh everybody have a good night part four will be coming see ya